in one way administrative that have been taking on the attacks we saw on three local government areas of River State yesterday. So the governor, Sim Fubara, today pledged that the incident, unlike previous cases, will not be ignored or swept under the carpet as his administration will collaborate with security agencies to identify the perpetrators and hold them accountable. Today, the government had set up a judiciary of inquiry into the arson, killings, and other forms of violence that occurred in the state yesterday. The move for their hands and allow such a thing to happen. So I've decided to take this action to find out the immediate and remote causes of this and most importantly no matter the personality involved thank you so much welcome to politics today i'm your brother secret we are in shock that news and wiki of all people is now in fear of judicial panel of inquiry. The man that said, if we want to do something, do hide it. Who is that person? What is his address? I'm bigger than all of them. I'm too big. I'm too big. News of week was on general television. And he's crying out. He's complaining. Why was Sim Fubara set up a judicial panel of inquiry to investigate the burning of local government secretaries in River State? Hey, you, you said you, this person did it. So why are you setting up judicial panel of inquiry? So Nusso Mike is feeling threatened by judicial panel of a wire. And Nigerians are asking, our brother Mike, do you have something to hide? Why are you panicking? What is the problem? Mike, why are you afraid? Mike, why are you complaining? So you can even live in fear. We never knew you can be threatened by anything. Talk about panel of judicial panel inquiry. The governor said that this is the handwork of his political opponents. Could it be you? No, but having known them, what are certain of the point of inquiry? You know them. All you need to get police, arrest them, tap them for asking. You know them. You have said so. So what is the basis of uh, the chapter of inquiry? I know the look, I have told our lawyers this afternoon. Go ahead and set aside those rubbish. That's rubbish. Complete rubbish. Who takes that? You mean the local government? What do you call this? What do you call them? Judicial What do you call this? Panel of inquiry. So inquiry what? When the governor knows. What do you want to inquire? You so know. you are countering the... You have told the lawyers to counter what the oh, governor has No, the governor about. said that, you know, uh, to go around to the court to say... No, no, it is a waste of resources. Why would you allow him to just... No, no, no. the no, governor. No, listen. Did anybody do that to you? No, I didn't know them. So that's why I have to send panel of inquiry to find out what happened. But thank God for saying for that. Did the judicial panel of inquiry do their work? And whosoever with the information, let that person submit that information. Thank God. Thank God. Those who destroyed the local government secretary videoed themselves. Their faces are seen clearly. And they were telling us the reason why they were pulling the local government houses. They spoke strongly. Whose interest in their south? They spoke strongly. And already, who have it on record? The man, he said he will make PDP states ungovernable. He will set fire on PDP states. Who have it on record? The man who said the governors will not be able to sleep, they will not be able to govern. Fear of what this man said made two governors, Shei Makende of Oyo State and Fintry of Adamawa State, traveled long distance. This one from Ebadan, the other one from Adamawa, all the way 
They went to Port Harcourt with peace offering to beg him we can spare our states. If rivers is on fire, it may be because Saint Fobra did not go with peace offering to beg. It's on record. The security agencies cannot say they did not know that somebody threatened to make some states ungovernable. And he gave his reason. Nobody can take the structure away from us. Not why we live. We did take the structure. Not why we live. He said it. It's on record. Nobody's putting him out of contest. And he cannot deny it. Who is threatened by judicial panel of inquiry? Let them first do their work. Allow them. And let them come up with their report. Whosoever is found wanting, thank God, nobody is above the law. Thank God, same Fobra will not be intimidated by anybody. Let no group of people be putting pressure on him, making nonsense call for peace, peace of that, peace of that. You know where the problem is. Speak to the person behind the problem. You will not speak to that person. You will be calling Sam Fobra to take steps to make for peace. Make for peace by how? By handing the state to one man. Is that the condition for peace? So that commissioners will not respect him? Local government chairman will be asking him if they burn you well, if they burn you well. And police will watch. Nothing will happen. DSS will watch. Nothing will happen. Is that the type of governor Sam Fokra will be? He cannot travel to Abuja. He cannot grant grand press interview. But he's executive governor of a state. So that he will have peace. Let the judicial panel of inquiry do their work. And we are happy to know. So at the end, something can put fear in yes a week. And that thing is judicial panel of inquiry. To God be the glory.